Hey. Hi. Day 27. And we are in... Kachina Village. That's where we are. Which is halfway between Flagstaff and Sedona. And uh, we're here coming to you live from our Airbnb because every time we tried to do this outside, it rained. Or it snowed. So <laughs> And it was too cold. So here we are. Inside, where it's nice and warm and we're in t-shirts. Yeah, perfect. So uh, what did we do today? We went for a drive to a place called Sedona. Oh, before we got there, though, we woke up. <gasps> Too snow. <laughs> More snow. Again. Oh, there was a thick layer of snow all over the car and all over the roads. And, and this was, is spring. Yeah, and it was cold. It was and freezing. It was, yeah, cloudy, grey, windy. Rainy, rainy snowy. snowy. Mm. Yep. Anyway, after that, what did we do? We drove to Sedona. Yeah. Uh, through the, what was it called? The Oak, Oak Creek, Creek Scenic Drive. It was lovely. Through it's the beautiful. forests and the mountains. And um, yeah, hard to get photos, especially where it was really rainy. But, yeah. um, and there's where really you drive nice. along through the mountains, through Oak Creek, there is the creek that runs beside mm. um, the road, which is really pretty. Yeah. Which Reminded was good. me a little bit of, any, of um, Virgin River. So if there's any Virgin River fans out there on Netflix. This is what it was like. Very pretty. Pine trees. I don't know trees. what you're talking about. You need to get alive. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, so when we drove through there, we arrived at Sedona. Yeah, Sedona's a weird place. It's kind of, there's apparently some vortexes, energy vortexes there. Yes. So uh, what is a vortex? Google helped me. Right. So this is what I Googled. What is a vortex? Sedona vortexes. So the proper grammatical form vortices, vortices is rarely used. Um, they're thought to be swirling centers of energy that are conducive to healing, meditation, and self-exploration. These are places where the earth seems especially alive with energy. Many people feel inspired, recharged, or uplifted after visiting a vortex. And Mike, did we visit a vortex? <laughs> we did. We uh, we, we hiked we in the rain. Found the easiest one to get to because it was raining and it was muddy and yeah, there was some more spectacular ones, but too difficult with the weather conditions. Yep. So we went to the one at Boynton Canyon, and we hiked about twenty five minutes. Yeah, something like that. Yep. And uh, we arrived at the vortex, and what did we experience there? So the vortex was explained to us by a couple of other hikers along the way. So you sit between these two, what do you call them? There's a big upcropping of rock and a big mountain on the other side. And the vortex yeah. is in the middle, apparently. Yeah. So we sat under a really gorgeous tree, actually. Um, and we sat there for about 10 minutes to see if we could feel anything different. Hmm. A lot of people say you can feel the energy you get. Yeah goosebumps or hairs raised or you feel empowered or different. healed or different or did I we... had a bit of a feeling sort of here um some people might call that the third eye I don't know I'm not familiar with any <laughs> any of that stuff so feel free to comment anyway, below <laughs> if we did feel anything it wasn't intense or major we did feel that the scenery around the place was very spectacular. So we were in awe. <laughs> it was definitely a nice place. And there were a bunch of people up there. There were some people yeah. meditating. There was someone playing a, an Indian flute. Yeah. Um, and there was uh, a bit of a, what do you call a it? A buzz. shrine? I don't oh. know what you'd call it. Anyway, yeah. they'd made a big heart out of some rocks on the ground and then left offerings in of there. Chapsticks. Chapsticks. Um, coins. Coins. Dollar a bills. Vape. A muesli bar. Um, and a letter that addressed said, to, to aliens. the aliens. We didn't read it. We respectfully left it in its place. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all yeah, it's very alternative, Sedona. Um, we were talking about it in the car on the way back, mm. and it reminds us a lot of a few different places within Queensland and northern New South Wales. So. Yeah. Those places, if you're familiar with them, um, Byron Bay, so a bit of a alternative. Bit hippie, bit alternative, quite trendy. Um, upmarket and overpriced. Yep. Coranda Village in, in Cairns, Cairns. In the total weirdness and wackiness of some of the people. Yeah. And there was like um, strip shops. So it was like a village with strips, yeah, shops. A bit like Noosa in yeah. that way. That was so 
fancy and trendy, yeah. but totally packed out with people and over commercialized, like you um, believe. like Cavalav in yep. surface. So yeah, it was strange. Yeah. We're strange. Oh, we should tell you about the weird man that we met going up the hill. <laughs> we were coming down from the vortex, and he's coming up, and he says to us, "Did you hear about the anomaly last night?" And we said, "No." no. And he says, "I can't remember exactly. It was something like." There was an anomaly, an anomaly, and it messed with the polarity of the magnetic reversal of the something, and I have to go and reset it. And he was on a mission up to the vortex to reset the whatever. We didn't ask him anymore. I was processing what he'd said before he walked away for me to ask, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? How what, are you going to reset How it? do you reset that? Mm, and what happens if you don't? Anyway... Lots of questions. Yeah, lots of alternative people. Uh, what did we do after that for lunch? For lunch? Oh, my gosh. So it's the <laughs> only place in the world with a Macca's with a green M. No so golden arches. No golden arches. It's the only one in the world that does not have golden arches. It's greeny blue, like teal. Teal M. And what the is the reason arches. behind that? Because we looked that up as well. Yeah, so the reason is the the planning people and the local council, I suppose, uh, wanted the architecture and uh, the the signage to be more in keeping with the southwest um, spirit atmosphere. Yeah, and building codes. Outlook, build, yeah, so uh, they come to it came to a commercial agreement with uh, the McDonald's Corporation that said they could do a teal M, M. on their building. Only one in the world yeah. without golden arches. So we stopped for a cheeseburger. The cheeseburgers taste the same. <laughs> they taste just FYI. Like a cheeseburger. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and within yeah. budget. Yeah. So that was cool. Uh, what, was did we cool. Do, what did we do after that? After that, we went into Sedona when we finally found a park because we'd gone to a place called. Mm, we wanted to go to the Talakapaki mm. Arts and Crafts Market. I hope we said that which right. Which is this very trendy, um, old, old buildings. Um, lots of artists, and yeah. we wanted to go there and have a look. We could never afford anything there, but we, we couldn't still get a wanted park. to check it out. We circled for about an hour. Yep, no Didn't parks. Work. And then we went on to uh, the Church of the Holy Cross, which is this spectacular building up in the mountain, uh, looking down the valley. Uh, it's a kind of like an A-frame kind of shape, and it has the cross through the middle, yeah, and it's just glass. glass. And then you look from my from what I've seen online and what have you. You look through the glass through the cross, out into the canyons. And yeah. it's absolutely and we, amazing. We wanted to have a look at that. It's really special architecturally. Yeah. Uh, but we couldn't. Because we couldn't find a park. <laughs> Theme was, of the day. It was so busy. <laughs> it it was, was so busy. Yeah. Yeah, quite. Yeah, we were getting quite frustrated by this point. And then we sat in the traffic back to town for probably almost an hour. Yep. Because it was just, yeah, so, so busy. So we, we spent a long time in peak hour traffic today. And then we finally found a park in the middle of nowhere um, and then hiked up a hill because that's the theme of this <laughs> um, entire holiday is we hike hills. Um, so we're getting pretty good at it and we're at 5,000 feet. So, yep, huffing and puffing by the time we get to the top of it. Um, but then we walked the streets of Sedona and did all the touristy stuff. We found yeah. some homemade gelato, was which was delicious. really yummy. Do you remember the flavour of yours? It was Vanilla bourbon apple crisp. And mine was Madagascan vanilla. Both very good. Can highly recommend both of them. Mm. Um, it was very yummy. Yeah. And then after that, what did we do? We came back here. Yep. Back to the Airbnb. Where there was a park. <laughs> right out the front. <laughs> didn't have to fight anybody for no, it. we didn't. Yeah. So, um... That, that was our pretty day. much concludes everything for today. Yeah, we'll what? put some photos up um, yeah. in the usual places so you'll be able to have a little look. Yeah, and what are we doing over the next couple of days? So tomorrow we're off to Albuquerque. Albuquerque! And um, we'll spend two nights there and we'll explore the Albuquerque and Santa Fe areas oh, yeah. um, over the next couple of days and then off to Texas <sighs> after that via Roswell. For more weird people. Aliens. <laughs> so that'll be good fun. We're going alien hunting. Yeah, so if you we'll don't hear from us, see. we've been abducted. Yeah, looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, all right. We've just been crazy. So it's <laughs> we... been a day. Um, we clearly need food. It is quarter to six here. Um, still feels like it's like three o'clock. Um, their sun setting is just doesn't set to like eight thirty at night not, or nine o'clock. So yeah, it's, it's still crazy. messing with us. Uh, we're still getting there four weeks in. But anyway, yeah, totally fine. Um, nothing else to say. I don't think. No. Nope. Except if you have the chance to go to Sedona and experience the vortex. Just say yes. Okay. Bye. Bye.